What's going on YouTube and all you drunken misfits out there? Jeremy D. Motherfucking Glass here, aka I'm goddamn motherfucking drunk, y'all. And that's right, there was a lot of cussing in that intro because, well, I got one thing to say. Well, I got one thing to say after I say this. This is the top three best restaurants in Winkler County. Now, after the last video, I got a lot of feedback. I got a lot of, well, a little bit of flack. Not a lot of flack. Got a lot of feedback and a little bit of flack. A lot of the feedback was 98% of the people out there agreed with my fucking ass about what I had to say about those restaurants. So, to the owners of those, 98% of the people agreed. Y'all disagreed? Who's fucking right there? I think it's me, because y'all restaurants fucking suck dick. Simple as that. On top of that, I also got some feedback from an older lady in uh, one of the comments of the, the video when I posted it on Facebook. Couldn't get to the food because of the language. All I got to say to that is fuck that. You're old. It's 2021. If you can't get the past the fucking language, you need to move on and go somewhere else. Or fucking get over it and watch the video. As simple as that. Now, with that being said, today we are talking about the top three best restaurants in Wake County, like I said. And these are in... Oh, sorry, someone put a bunch of ash over here on my thing. I don't smoke. It bug me. Now, going into these, there were a lot of factors going into these because there's a lot of good restaurants in Winkle County that deserve a lot of respect. These top three, I'm literally ranking on food, atmosphere, uh, beer because I'm a drinker. They got beer. And there's quite a few factors that went into ranking these. But we're going to start things off with number three. Number three is going to be Chaotic Wings and Pizzas. Now, the reason I'm putting Chaotic on this list as number three is because, well, I'm a huge wing fan. And their wings, honestly, are some of the best wings I've ever had. They're a little bit overpriced, not going to lie. The pricing is a little bit high on them. Uh, but as far as the wings go, taste-wise, they're some of the best I've ever had, honestly. They're cooked to perfection. Whether they have sauce or you do a dry rub, they're cooked to perfection either way. Uh... I would love to see a spicy garlic sauce, kind of like how Buffalo has, because uh, that's my favorite flavor, but they don't have that. Either way, still, there's still plenty of other options that I get every single time I go there. I love the lemon pepper. Uh, another one I love is the Carolina Reaper, because the saltiness in the Carolina Reaper, even though it's a little bit on the spicier side, I will say that the flavor on it is just immaculate. Plus, some other good things. They have some uh, good pizza. I'm not going to say it's the best pizza, but it's definitely better than fucking what Pizza Hut has. So it's some good pizza. It's a definitely better option than Pizza Hut has. On top of that, their no-name burger. If you have been there to Chaotic and you go consistently and you have not tried the no-name burger, you need to try that motherfucker. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You just need to go in there, look on that menu, and see what the fuck it is and be like, damn, I want that. Because it's that motherfucking good. Moving on. Number two. Number two was a review I did recently. We're actually going to put it up on here. Poor Daddy's Barbecue and Kermit. A lot of factors went into this one and the chaotic choice on who was going to be number two and number one. While Wings is my favorite food, Poor Daddy's atmosphere just kind of elevated them above chaotic. And there was a couple reasons why, and I'll go into that. For one, they had Shiner on tap. That's automatically they're better than that. Better than the bar scene over at Chaotic. They have Dos Equis, Michelob, I believe Coors, and Bud Light, I think is what they got over at uh, Chaotic. The fact that they, uh, Poor Daddy's has shine and that already puts them above that. On top of that, the brisket's good. Ribs are good. Uh, potato salad sucks. I'm not a big fan of the potato salad. But everything else on the menu, the sandwich menu, great. There's multiple. When I go to Poor Daddy's, I have to go, damn, what am I going to order today? Because they have actually a really diverse menu and a lot of good food on it. When I go to Chaotic, I know what I'm going to get there every single time. That's why they're number three. And also the atmosphere, like I said, at Poor Daddy's is just so much better. The bar they have there to the tables, to the flags hanging, the TVs, to the cornhole outside. It's just a fucking downright great fucking restaurant. Atmospherically, food-wise, and all around everything. Sorry, I need a drink here. Uh, now, number one for fucking rounding out the entire list. You know what, before we even get to number one, let's go in some honorable mentions here. Honorable mention number four is no brainer. They are honestly the only reason they're not number three on this list, or hell, even number two on this list, is atmosphere wise. The Wildcat Den and Wink. Best Philly cheesesteaks I've ever had in my life. Great burgers. Just great food all around in that aspect. But the only reason they did not get number one, uh, number two, number three is because it's just a small shack, not a hugely great atmosphere when you go in there. 
When I go into Poor Dads, I feel like I can sit a few hours. When I go into Chaotic, I feel like I can sit an hour. When I go into the Wildcat Den, you know, I only want to be there, like, get my food, eat it, and leave. Or get my food and leave. Not the hugest leave, great atmosphere. But what they got, they're working with great, amazing food. To throw a Mexican restaurant on this list, I'm going to go with the La Heredadera. I don't know how to say it. I'm not Spanish at all, and I suck at Spanish. Uh, but it's translate to the horseshoe, I believe. It's in the middle of Kermit. It used to be one, if you're around from come around, or from around Kermit, it's right next to the uh, probation office. It used to be a hair salon. Amazing Mexican restaurant. Love that place. Always go there uh, when I crave Mexican food and I want to go to a restaurant. That's where I generally go to. Now, without further ado and all that whatnot, let's go ahead and get on to number one here. Oh, that's some good fucking mead. Like the Vikings used to drink right there. That shit's fucking delicious. Number one. And this is going to speak volumes of this place, by the way. Because, like I said, I took in everything from atmosphere to the beer to the food. Everything into account in this one. But this place, from the owner being just the nicest lady I've ever met in my life. To the food, just downright phenomenal every single time I have been there and every single thing I have ever ordered off that menu, just outright phenomenal food, is why they're number one. They don't have the greatest atmosphere. They don't even have a fucking restaurant, honestly. They are just downright the best food that you can get in Winkler County. And like I said, I took a lot into effect on this, but this place... The food is just so goddamn good. This is what you need to eat. If you're craving a big burger with great flavor and your money's and you feel like your money like money ain't even a factor because the money's worth it every single time no matter what you get. And they're not even that expensive. And to be honest, for the size and proportion you're getting on these burgers, Sissy's and Kermit. Gossip Corner, Sissy's Place, whatever you want to call it, in front of K-Town Auto the best damn food in Winkler County. Better than Poor Daddy's. Better than Chaotic. Better than any place I can mention. You know, it don't even matter. And the bad part is, McDonald's is right next to them. If I go to get a burger, there's times I'm craving McDonald's. I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm going to drive right by Sissy's. I'm going to stop there and get a fucking burger. Burger may cost me $10 fucking dollars, but guess what? It's like fucking six burgers from a goddamn McDonald's of the size of it. That place is just downright great. Not even to mention the brisket fries. Great flavor in the brisket. Not even a full on barbecue place. And a great brisket. Then toss on top of, fuck it, I don't even know how much fries they give you. It's like a pound of fries, a pound of brisket, and a shit ton of cheese. Just phenomenal amount of food for still 10 fucking dollars. I have never, not once in my entire life, gone to Gossip Corner and been like, damn, I'm still hungry. After ordering food there. I've done that at plenty of other places. I'm a fat motherfucker. There ain't no way around that. I love my food. I have gotten full from ordering one meal every single time I've gone to Gossip Corner. No matter what it is. But that place is just phenomenal. I've had the fish. I've had the shrimp. I've had the clam strips. I've had the burger. The brisket fried. The carne asada uh, quesadilla. Everything I've ordered there. Zero complaints. Great every single time. The nicest lady in the world that I've ever that runs it. And uh, just, just, a, just an all around great place. There's no, there's no other way to put it. They're number one on the list for a reason because they're just fucking phenomenal. I would rather eat at Gossip Corner than any other place in Winkle County, Ward County, or the Permian Basin in general. I can't even think of another place in Odessa that I'd rather eat when it just comes down to the pure food. Other places I'd rather hang out, sure. But as far as just like I want food, I want it now, whether I eat it there at my house, whatever. Gossip Corner is the place. The downright best place to fucking eat. And well, I really don't know what to say. We're about 9 minutes and 20 seconds in. And, uh, man. We'll just reiterate. Gossip Corner. Hats off to you, sissy. Hats off to you, sissy. Best fucking place in Winkler County. Best place in Ward County. Best place in Ector County. I mean, just downright phenomenal food you keep doing what you're doing and i honestly beat myself up all the time for not eating them more uh poor daddies i gave y'all y'all's review 
like I said, great food, good atmosphere, or uh, good food, amazing atmosphere all around. I enjoy being there. I will continue to come back there to hang out, drink, whatever the fuck when I got money. Uh, chaotic Hatch, I haven't been there in a while. I may go there tomorrow and get me some motherfucking wins, just, just for the hell of it. Who knows? Uh, the Wildcat Den, I'll continue to eat there. Best Philly cheesesteaks I've ever had in my life, not gonna lie. The burgers are great. It's right here locally. I'm a couple blocks away from it. I love that place. Uh, the La Hereditaria, the La Horseshoe, whatever the hell you pronounce it at. Great Mexican restaurant. You can go there. As far as, like I said at the beginning of this video, you don't gotta agree with me. But the thing is, most people do. And for the ones that disagree, well, you're actually the minority in this part. Because, like I said, top three worst, I got a lot of flack. Like I said, I care the fuck less. People who don't agree with me, that's your opinion. You can go fuck off. Just like it's my opinion, you can tell me to fuck off. What the fuck ever, I don't care. As far as everything else, I've been drinking all motherfucking day. And I'm going to continue to drink night. It's fucking 114. I've been drinking since 11 a.m. And uh, as always, stay motherfucking drunk, y'all. I'm going to go finish this bottle of goddamn me right here.